Shifting our focus to Britain, the Labour Party is planning to put the UK at the head of a worldwide green industrial revolution with a massive US-style public-private investment scheme targeted at the most deprived regions. In an interview to The Observer, Rachel Reeves, the shadow chancellor says the Labour government will follow the model of US President Joe Biden's hugely ambitious regional recovery plan, using the climate crisis as the catalyst for economic revival. She says Labour's new National Wealth Fund will be provided with an initial eight billion pounds of funding from the state they hope it will pull in private investment as well who will be given the specific remit to focus on green industrial revival in the deprived regions with targets to create hundreds of thousands of jobs outside london and southeast this comes ahead of the spring budget that is scheduled for wednesday in which the chancellor jeremy hunt will be under pressure to prevent an exodus of UK green industries to the US and the EU, both of which are preparing incentives to lure green firms from overseas. So both Labour and the Tories are determined to ensure the UK will not be left behind. Moreover, UK Chancellor Jeremy Hunt is set to announce a £20 billion investment in technology to reduce Britain's carbon emissions in the budget. He also plans to boost the nuclear sector with comp competition to develop small modular nuclear reactors. According to Rachel Reeves, many UK companies were desperate to invest in areas such as offshore wind, tidal energy, green hydrogen and carbon capture and storage. But they feared that without government backing, they would not get off the ground. Moreover, she is planning to meet key architects of the Inflation Reduction Act of the IRA during her May visit. Let me tell you about the IRA now. Biden's IRA was signed into law in August last year. It aims to spur investment in green technology by devoting billions of dollars in subsidies through grants, loans and tax credits to public and private entities. It has a strong focus on electric vehicles and the battery industry. Now, while in the EU, the continent is also shifting towards a greener future. The EU is expected to unveil more details this week of its Net Zero Industry Act, which is also designed to lead to a big acceleration of green technology in EU member states.